Hello, this is Cannon from NFT Art Generator, and today I'm going to be teaching you how you can turn your Adobe Illustrator artwork into an NFT collection using our tool. For the project that I'm going to be creating today, there are two types of characters. There's the egg character that comes in different variations of colors, and the egg cracked open with a little dinosaur inside, also coming in a variation of colors. For the dino character, there's the background layer, the shadow layer, the scales layer, the dinosaur base, the eyes, the cracked egg, and the dots on the egg. For the egg character, it's also going to have a background, it's going to have a full egg, and it's going to have dots, and then also it's going to have the shadow from the previous character. For the sake of the video, I've already gone ahead and designed the artwork for both of my characters. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to teach you how you can export it as a PNG in the correct way that you can use it in our tool. So the first thing I'm going to do is click File, New, and create an artboard the same dimensions as my art, which is 500 pixels by 500 pixels in this case. Now I have a new artboard, but I'm going to need to create an artboard for every single layer I want to export. So I'm going to go to Window, Artboards, and this panel will pop up. In this case, I'm going to have around 60 to 65 different types of layers. So I'm going to click this plus button and add them all. Once I've added all the artboards that I'm going to use for the individual layers, I can click here to rearrange them. I'm going to have eight columns and 20 pixel spacing. There we go. The next step is going to be copying in the artwork and putting them all on individual artboards. So I'm going to go back to my original artwork, grab it all, control C, and then I'm going to click here at this last artboard and click control F so it's copied and pasted in the right place on the artboard using control F. I'm going to also do this for the egg. Control F, and now both layers are here and I can easily access them. When I export this document, each of these layers is going to come out as its own PNG. So now I'm going to copy and paste each of these layers and arrange them here on this board. I'll start by grabbing the background, Control C, Control F, and repeating this for all the parts that I want to add. Now that I have it all here, if I want to make variations, I can just copy it and then do control F to all these artboards and create variations. I can recolor them and alter them any way I like. Once I've created all the variations and different colors I want, each on their individual artboards, so they'll export as their own PNG, I'm going to go up to File, Export, Export As. Find the location I want to put it in, name the images how I'd like, but I'm going to, the important step is that I'm going to click use artboards. So this is going to export them all as individual PNGs, and it's going to have the transparent area around them, staying within the 500 pixel by 500 pixel area. This is a crucial step, and you need to do it. And click export for screen, the background transparent. It's not going to show up on this first layer, but all these other ones are going to have a background that is transparent, which is important if you're trying to generate NFTs using our tool. And I'm going to click OK, and now they've all generated in that file location. If we take a look at the file location, we can see they've all exported under the name I've given them, and they're all numbered. And the artboards add nothing on them, just export is black, and it's completely fine. We can just delete these if we don't want them. And there we go, we're now ready to go to nft-generator.art to put this together. For this project, I'm going to be using the advanced mode. So I'm just going to click get started, toggle the advanced mode, open up this view, and start arranging the layers. So we'll have the start, then we have a background layer, I'll break this connection, 
Then we're going to have a shadow layer that both types of characters will share. And then after the shadow, it's going to split off into our two types of characters. One being the full egg. The other being the cracked egg with the dinosaur in it, starting with the scales of the dinosaur. After the full egg, we're going to have the dots on the egg. And after the scales, we're going to have the dinosaur body. After the body, we're going to give the dinosaur some eyes. After the eyes, we're going to give it its cracked shell. And then after the cracked shell, it's going to get some dots. And that should be both different paths for each type of character. We can connect it to the end. For both of these. Now I can go ahead and add my images in. For a detailed tutorial of the advanced mode, I've linked our previous video in the description below. I've drag and dropped all my images into the project, and now if we click preview, we can see what it creates. You can see it generated both types of characters, and it's followed the outline path we've created. And this was all done based on our original Adobe Illustrator artwork. Now if I wanted to generate the full collection, I could put the value I want here, and then click generate. So it's generating all the different types of eggs and characters of all the different variations, each one unique. To generate a collection of up to 10,000 images with no watermark, all I would have to do is input the value I'd like, click generate collection, and pay using either Fiat or Ethereum, and let the generation do its work. It also exports metadata, which you can use when you upload to OpenSea or another platform. Hopefully you found this video helpful. You now know how you can export your artwork from Adobe Illustrator and use nft-generator.art to help generate your new NFT collection. If you're interested in more content, you can subscribe here. You can join our Discord linked in the description and follow our Twitter also linked in the description. Happy creating!